Well, she hails from a dynasty of environmentalists. Uh, she went on her first expedition at four months old. Her grandfather, Jacques Cousteau, taught her how to dive at seven years old. Alexandra Cousteau traveled the world to explore the critical water issues recently. Now she has been on a mission, just finished, to raise awareness about the state of water in the United States. And she's with us here now. And let's start this off. You went on a bus yes. and you started what? To we started, we left on June 30th and we only just returned. It's been and four it's and a half kind months. of a special bus to those of us in it politics. Is, absolutely. It was John McCain's Straight Talk Express in 2008. And then it was Paul McCartney's bus, and then it was ours. And what, uh, tell us, ex Alexandra, exactly what you did on this. We traveled 17,100 miles across North America exploring and investigating some of the global water issues that are happening not in Africa, not in Asia, but right here in our own backyard. And will this be a documentary? It will, but it's actually been playing out on nationalgeographic.com, on my website, on a number of websites. Every single day we've posted new content. So people have actually followed along with us and explored places as we did, met people as we did, and been able to share their own stories as we explored others. And what's the bottom line? We, um, we have a lot of work to do, Bob. We have a lot of work to do. You know, we saw um, the Colorado River die in the Mexican desert. It hasn't reached the sea in over 12 years, which has caused real hardship for the communities, both farmers and fishermen, who depend on that river reaching the sea. We went to the Gulf of Mexico and saw um, the aftermath of the spill and the broken communities in Louisiana and Alabama and Florida that have been devastated by this. And, you know, frankly, these issues are happening across the nation, and I think it's time that we really wake up and we take our water back. What do we need to do? Well, um, a couple things I think need to happen. I think we need a national water policy for sure, but we also need to encourage and support the local water heroes in every single community who are working very hard to get their, their community involved to understand how they need to, what they can do to make their rivers or their lakes or their streams fishable, drinkable, and swimmable. You and know, I guess uh, until I heard you just say that, it never occurred to me, we don't have a water policy in we this don't. country. We don't. We don't. We have an oceans policy, but of course that doesn't reach onto land very much, so. What is the most important thing that we should do right now? What's the most crucial thing? Um, <laughs> there's so much, but I, I really think that supporting grassroots, ra grassroots initiatives um, is probably the number one thing because people out there really do want to protect the water in, in their lives, the, the water that flows through their lives. Um, but we also, we also need to really start thinking about how we're going to um, enforce the excellent environmental legislation that we have on the books, um, which we haven't been doing a very good job of, and making sure that water is at the top of our discussion and our conversation. And that's what we've been doing on Expedition, really trying to help people understand the issues um, have stories through which they can discuss the issues and start to have conversations about water. We need to talk about this issue. You know, I, it, when I was a little boy, when I was growing up, when someone said, uh, you'll have to buy bottle, bottled water in order to drink it. I mean, I, my parents would have laughed. They yeah. couldn't have imagined such a time. And yet most places now, yeah. uh, you can't drink the water. Exactly. You can't just turn Even on the here. hydrant. Even yeah. here in the... Uh, capital of this nation, the District of Columbia. But I'm, I'm so excited because, you know, we've, we're going to take a little break. It's been five months on the road, and, and the fantastic crew that I had with me were all a little bit tired. But it's just the beginning, and I'm so excited about that. And we have strong partnerships with National Geographic and with RBC and others to continue the momentum of this well into next year and the year beyond and continue to drive conversation and give people opportunities to get involved at home. Well, thank you so much, and I know your grandfather would be very Thank proud you, of you. Bob. Thank, Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Alexandra. <laughs>